My name is Inglung Wang and um, I work at Brandwatch and I'm in charge of sentiment analysis. So um, I'm expert in the field of natural language processing, which is the technology behind sentiment analysis. And I carry out uh, research and development. So not only in charge of the current technology used at Brandwatch, but also uh, do research on the future uh, of sentiment analysis and how we're going to use uh, technologies in computational linguistics to uh, help our clients to achieve their goals. So sentiment analysis uh, in general refers to software programs that extract subjective information from text materials. And um, it is, it's rooted from a discipline, it's called natural language processing or computational linguistics, or there are other names such as information extraction, uh, text mining, text analytics, etc., etc. But they, they all refer to software programs that automatically extract meanings from text. Um, it's, it's a bit like uh, teaching uh, somebody a foreign language, really. Um, so there are two ways to do it. First, you could just hand over a dictionary you know, with, with every word associated with meaning. In the context of sentiment, you could give a computer a, a sort of dictionary-like thing, a, a set of rules saying if you see words, uh, positive words, for example, excellent, then it's a positive thing, right? Um, if it's negative, say rubbish, then, then it's, it's, it's negative. Um, that, that's one way to do it. Another way, if you want to teach somebody a foreign language, you have to let him or her read a lot of materials in, written in this language because only with a dictionary, there are a lot of ambiguities there. You know, uh, the most actually commonly used words are ambiguous. So, so you also have to look at the context surrounding the word. And the same here, when we try to teach computer to uh, judge the uh, sentiment of sentence, you know, not only the rules, but also the context surrounding the brand names. Right, so um, it's, it's difficult in a way because, uh, as I said, the ambiguity, it's kind of an inherited property in all languages. You know, uh, most words are ambiguous, especially the uh, commonly used ones. Um, say, um, if you say fine, probably it's a good word, you would think, you know, the f first impression is good, but uh, in the context of, okay, you get fined, it's, it's a charge which usually associates with negative sentiment. That makes it very difficult. So, so you cannot only look at the word itself, but also the surrounding context. Um, that makes it a bit difficult. And also, uh, it depends on the domain. So in some domains, uh, they have different vocabulary of positive and negative words uh, from other domains. Uh, it's, it can be very specialized. And also, then people write about you know, all kinds of things, all, kind, in all kinds of expressions, especially on social media. You know, people will feel free to express their opinions, so they use all kinds of say, metaphor, you know, uh, sarcasm, irony, um, more advanced uh, uh, writing skills, or, or do they just, you know, they just, or, or new words, they create new words constantly and uh, use abbreviations, acronyms. These all make um, detecting sentiment more difficult. So we basically, we, we have several approaches and the system that we use is kind of a hybrid system, combines uh, two approaches. Um, and in, th in, in general, we use mathematical models to model linguistics features that indicate sentiment. And, and on top of that, we have a set of manually compiled rules. Um, so that covers two you know, uh, ways of doing it. And first, we, we look at the context and model the context in one way. And also, we teach the computer a few rules. If, if you see this text pattern, then it's positive or negative. So that's how we do it. So, so first of all, we have uh, flexibility because we have several um, in-house systems so we can uh, do optimization for client requirements. For example, if a client is only interested in one industry and sometimes they, they're very specific about it, we, we're just interested in one brand and we can customize for them and we can come out with a very accurate set of rules and make the sentiment analysis very accurate indeed. And uh, this is, I think, our advantage. And um, you know, on top of that, we have a dedicated team of NLP researchers. Um, it's, everything is in-house. And also, we have a team of data analysts um, uh, who help us to, to do data mock-up so that we can 
teach computers using this uh, manually annotated data.